Hello, my name is Maverick and welcome to my video. I want to make this video to help anyone out who is in the same boat that I was in when I first started. I had very little knowledge on nickel metal hydride batteries and I got a crash course while I was at the track and I started charging them wrong. I was charging them above 1C just to charge them a little bit faster to get out of the track and at first it didn't really affect the batteries. I was getting a little bit more punch off the line but they quickly started to suffer. Um, my car became slow, the runtime was really terrible. So I did some research and then I ended up buying a couple more sets of batteries and a proper charger. Now, one of the first things I did wrong was I didn't break in the batteries. With nickel metal hydrides, when they're new or even when you store them for an extended period of time, they become chemically deactivated. So you need to break them in and by breaking them in, you're going to charge them very slowly and force them to a full charge. Now you're gonna do that at 0.1C and you're gonna discharge them at negative 0.2C. So I'll do the math with you. It's uh, 750 times 0.2, it's gonna come up to 150 milliamps. So you discharge your battery down to one volt at 150 milliamps per hour. Then you charge it at 750 times 0.1, which comes up to 75 milliamps. And you charge that up to 1.65 volts. Now, on a regular charger, you have to do all that math. With the SkyRC MC3000, it has a bunch of presets built in. It has uh, different battery, battery chemistry types that you can choose from. But for this purpose, it has a break-in feature already programmed into it. Now, to do that with this particular charger, you're going to open up the app. And you're going to go down to Program. You're going to hit Plus on the top right corner. You're going to activate all four channels. You're going to change lithium ion to nickel metal hydride. You're going to change charge to break in. Now the batteries we're using are 750 milliamps for this video. And if you go down, you'll see that it changes by 100 milliamp increments. Now you're going to want to set it to 800 because if you set it to 700, it won't peak the battery. And that's what I found. But if you charge it to 800, it's just a slight buffer and it won't harm the battery at all. You can see that the charge current and the discharge current are set. They've done the math for you. It's all ready to go. The one volt protection cutoff has already been pre-programmed and the restart voltage at the bottom is all set. You don't have to change it. So I'm just gonna call this one break-in PN750s and save. So now we're gonna place our batteries into the charger. You can see them coming up on the on the phone screen. And you can see that it gives you all the information that you need. It has the mode that it's in. Right now it's in charge mode by default. Uh, set as a standby because I haven't hit any of the buttons on the screen. I haven't hit enter, so it's not going to do anything. It's just going to sit there. It's going to show the voltage. All my batteries are pretty close right now in voltage. They're fresh out of the pack. Now we're going to go back to program. We're going to click on the program that we created and hit start. And then as you can see, it says processing. And if you go back, the type will change nickel metal hydride. The mode will change break in and I'll start charging. It'll show you how much milliamps it has placed into the battery, um, the voltage that the battery is currently at and the current that it's charging at. The time is the time since you hit the uh, start button and then the temperature. Now this process is gonna take a while. Uh, it could take 16 to 20 hours, but it's well worth it. The performance of the battery is increased uh, slightly. Everybody says about 5%, but really it's the longevity of the battery, the life of the battery. It will last a lot longer. Now from here, I won't charge these batteries over 1C. So I'll charge them at 750 milliamps every time I go to use them. Uh, anything above that, the battery starts to get warm. And when the battery is warm, you're decreasing the life of your battery. Yes, you get the initial punch and you get a little bit of performance off the top, but really you're just affecting the battery in the long run. Now, if you want to buy a charger like this, um, I'm going to post it in the link below. I bought it from someone to RC, uh, super awesome guy to deal with, super helpful. And he'll answer any questions and ship really quickly. Um, that's it for this video. I hope it helped and I look forward to seeing your comments uh, down below. See if there's anything that you would like to know 
about Mini Z or the batteries. Thanks for watching.